After being quite disappointed with Waydroid, I started looking for alternative ways to play Android games on Linux. My first attempt was running Bluestacks through Wine, but that didn't work out. So, I decided to try installing Tiny11 using GNOME boxes. Unlike standard Windows 11, Tiny11 doesn't require Secure Boot or TPM to be enabled, and it's much more lightweight. For the Tiny11 virtual machine, I allocated 8GB of RAM and 100GB of SSD storage, as I plan to use Bluestacks with enhanced RAM set to 4GB. If you're limited on memory, you can get by with a 6GB RAM allocation for the VM. After installing Tiny11, I stuck with the default GNOME boxes resolution. Since I'm using an older integrated GPU, I found that keeping the default resolution helped maintain smoother performance during gameplay. In Bluestacks, I configured the settings to 4GB enhanced RAM, 2 CPU cores, performance mode set to balanced, and FPS capped at 30. This setup works well for games like Mobile Legends, Free Fire, and Standoff 2. You can also tweak in-game settings, such as lowering graphics to normal and setting FPS to smooth, for better performance. Of course, having a newer integrated GPU or a dedicated GPU can significantly improve the gaming experience. But even with modest hardware, this setup should serve you well, and you likely won't need to look elsewhere for playing Android games on Linux. Lastly, I experimented with DNS settings. I tried both AdGuard and Cloudflare DNS, but noticed slightly better performance when no DNS override was applied. As for disabling ads in Bluestacks, you can turn them off from the Preferences tab within the app.